Hey, this is What You're Waiting For. It's A Woman's Perspective on Camping and Survival. And today I wanted to talk about kids. Um, if you have seen any of my past videos, you all know that I have been a scout leader for about eight years. I have three children. They're all in scouts. Um, my oldest one is actually an ambassador Girl Scout. She's getting ready to be an adult Girl Scout next year. Uh, my middle one has been in Scouts since she was a brownie. And uh, my son has been a Scout. He's now working on his first class. And uh, he's 11. So Scouts is a big thing. So I, I do have kids. And uh, I wanted to give everybody a list of some important things that I think that everybody needs to teach their kids. Um, some of them you might say, there is no way I'm going to teach my child that. They're way too young. If you think they're too young, you can still get a start to it. You can teach them like about fire. If you don't want them to build a fire, teach them about fire safety and where you keep the supplies. Because if your children are that young, they're probably going to have an adult with them. It might not be you. It might be a babysitter or an aunt. But you still need to show them, this, this is where we keep the supplies. This is what the basic of what the adult needs to do. Uh, the first one is a fire starting. And I don't just mean camping. I do mean campfires. Uh, teach them different ways to start a fire. But I also mean uh, if you have a gas stove, how do you light that stove? How do you light the pilot if it goes out? Uh, how do you light the oven or get the oven started? The safety issues with that. Um, teach them about the blue flame. Uh, the grill, whether it's propane or charcoal. How do you start that? The fireplace, if you have one. Show them how to start a fire in the fireplace. Show them where the supplies are located. And camping, propane lanterns, propane stoves. If you use an alcohol stove, teach them how to use these items. The next one is utilities. Show them where the shutoffs are. If an emergency happens, this is where the water shutoff is. The tools that you need to turn that, the electric off, the, the gas off. Well, you don't need much for electric, but the gas, the water. Where the main breaker is. How to, how to change a breaker if they have to or flip a breaker. And if they don't have electricity, show them. This is what you need to do to get a plug-in phone and plug it in because the rechargeables are not going to work. The next one is first aid. Um, sometimes teaching them call 911 is wonderful, but what if the lines are down? You need to teach them what to do. Uh, a great thing to do, and I've done it with my children, is go get family certified. You go to uh, first aid training. Go as a family. All of you get certified. The next thing is microwaves will not work. Electric can openers will not work. Teach them how to cook. Even if it's just a baby, you know, a child, not a baby, they're all my babies, but if your child can just make their own cereal or make a, a bologna sandwich, as they get older, teach them more and more. So show them how to soak beans, how to cook rice, how to make stew. Um, a lot of the kids nowadays, and even some of the younger adults, think that cooking is opening up a bag, uh, a can of raviolis and putting it in the microwave. So you have to, you know, let them know how to cook. Uh, also, bad canned goods. Botulism can kill you. Show the children if the can is rusty, dented, if it's if it's exploded, uh, you know getting bigger, <laughs> expanding, there you go, <laughs> if it uh, has something coming out of it, liquids oozing out of it, if you open it and it smells bad, just teach them how to know uh, when a canned good is bad. Also, another thing that most young adults do not understand the, the, how to do is disinfect water. Show them not just boiling water, but using chlorine, how to use the iodine, how to use the filters if you have the filtering systems. And an important thing is to make a list of these things and post it. Maybe make one, laminate it, put it on 
the um, kitchen refrigerator, maybe one with your bug out bag. Uh, these are just important because if somebody else is in your house and you're not with them, you want to make sure your kids are safe. The next thing is shelter. Show them how to pitch your tent, how to make a basic shelter out of nothing but a poncho or an emergency, uh, the shiny blankets, how to do basic knots that they can use. Uh, the next thing is storms. If you have a tornado warning and you're not there, tornado watch, where is the best place to go in your house? What should they take? How to tune in a weather station on, the, on your wet, uh, weather radio. Uh, afterwards, how do you start your generator? Where's the generator? Where's the extra gas? Safety for the power lines that are down. Stay away from them. You need to, you know, stay away from this, stay away from that. Instill in your children. The next thing is everyone should sit down with their kids and make a bug out bag. 72 hour kit. I call it 72 hour kit with my children. Mine is a bug out bag. Theirs is a 72 hour kit. Um, and we sit down. They know everything that's in it. They know how to use everything that's in it. And we put it where they want to put it. Don't put it in mommy's closet underneath the clothes or underneath something. It needs to be where they are. My children each have one underneath their bed, so if something happens, they can grab it and go. Let them be a part of the process. Don't just, okay, this is your 72-hour kit. It's here. That's it. They need to know what's in there. They need to know how to use those supplies. Uh, they need to go through it every, at least every six months because their clothes are going to be not fitting anymore. Their, their um, food is going to be expired. So go through it. But the important thing is you start when they're small. It's not something like, when you're 10, I'm going to teach you how to do all this. You start when they're very small and you add on every year, you, you, just a little bit at a time. And you'll be surprised when an emergency happens, sometimes these young kids can have a better mind and, and understand what they're supposed to do better than an adult. And there's been a, a lot of things on the news where a, a young child remembered, you know, to call, stand up and dial 911 and the child's only three years old. Or they remembered, oh, when you're bleeding, we need to, you know, do this, when an adult couldn't. So you have to prepare your kids. You never know. You might not be with them. Uh, if you are with them, there's a chance. What if you get hurt? You, they need these skills. Not just when shoot hits the van, but in every day, they need to know what to do. So I'm sure everybody will come up with a hundred more things that the kids should learn. But I just thought that these are the most important in my family and that my children know how to do. And by the time they do become adults, they will have all these skills because the young adults that are becoming adults now that are 18, 19, 20, most of them don't even know how to boil water. You know, most of them don't realize, you know, that if there's a water leak, we have to go turn the water off. If an uh, uh, electric, you know, pops a breaker, they don't know where the breaker box is. So teach your kids now and let them be prepared, not just for right now, but it prepares them for all of their life. So get out there and talk to your kids, teach your kids, and what you're waiting for.